Hi hopefuls, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I am going to share with you our linen closet decluttering, purging organization. And I've done this space several different times, but what makes this different is that I got rid of so much stuff. So I had two large, maybe more of bas uh, bags here. I was taken to the Goodwill and also some couponing shampoo items to my local food bank that I was not going to use. And I just got rid of all of those old blankets, towels, and just refresh the space with brand new things. I did use a lot of things that um, I already had, but some of the things I just wanted to create a fresh um, look. So I love the way it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll share with you um, a clip coming up here of what I was going to use of the items that I already had. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Hi, hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing wonderful. So I just wanted to jump right on into this video. And a couple of weeks ago, I finished up our linen closet, did a couple of finishing touches on it. I have a video I will put above where I shop some of the things that I showed um, for the linen closet. But I'm just now getting around to recording it. So... Some of the areas may not look fully stocked, like my gray towels or my white towels, but I need to purchase um, more of them. Also, I will put some clips in of what it looked like before. So I was spring cleaning, I decluttered, I threw away a lot of things that were in here. I wanted to do something that I knew that will work for us. And some things we're still gonna try out. And then I did spring clean my hallway. Um, this upstairs hallway has like my coupon stockpile and so forth. So my linen closet will look different from other people. Um, when I was looking at um, videos or on Pinterest I noticed a lot of people had like toiletries inside their linen closet and I never thought about that and I really don't need to do that um but I have I did consider some things because I was like oh okay um I did used to do this and I'll show you guys what I used to do and some of my items or a lot of my items are in the hallway so we you won't see them in the closet for me to say all that okay so let's get started, y'all. Okay, at the top, I got rid of a lot of blankets. I kept the ones that looked the best. If we had like company that came over, the boys an extra blanket. Um, they have several in their room as well. I'm glad we're past that phase of occasionally wetting the bed or wetting the bed often. You guys, you know, yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad we're past that. I have an extra pillow up here for guests but I would like to get another one and I usually get the big I think the big ones from Kohl's over here I have some of their throw blankets and some other blankets over here so if we go traveling I did get rid of some and um, Desai carries around this little Christmas two Christmas red blankets anyway all day every day so that is up there and we occasionally use that stuff so I got rid of a lot and I'll show you guys in different clips of how much stuff that I got rid of. I think it was at least two or three bags. Some things were trash. Over here, this is a bin threshold from Target. And I really like it. I think it was like $30, $29 or $20. I think it was $30, y'all. And so this holds their sheet protectors for the twin beds and their fitted sheets. I got rid of all of their flat sheets, twins, because they don't use them, and it was just taking up space, and um, that works. I had to also get rid of queen sheets, because my oldest son, he moved out, he wanted to move out on his own, and he had a queen bed, we used to have a queen bed, so we just got rid of all of those sheets. Okay, so my towels, I got some from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And um, Clora, one of my uh, YouTube friends here, she reminded me that if you guys um, watched a Sam shot with me, I think it was the last one that my mom and I went in there and I noticed that they had 
white towels and I completely forgot. So when I make a trip back to them, back to Sam's, I will make sure I will grab some. They had the most reasonable prices. Um, I think Clora mentioned as well Costco. So I have to check that out if you're trying to move to white towels or need more white towels. I only have one lonely gray towel over here. I only purchased, I think, a total of four. I see two here <laughs> that my kids, their bathroom is right here to the left. My kids have in their bathroom. So again, I didn't do this right away. Um, I tried to wash everything up, but they have stuff scattered and I have to ask my middle son, does he have any towels in his room? Y'all know that. Um, constant battle with these children. Okay, so this basket here, I had this one for um, a little while. I can't remember where I got it, but it was on clearance. And this has like all of their pillowcases and stuff like that in it. Um, it may be some of our pillowcases, but we keep our sheets inside of an storage ottoman in our bedroom and that works well for us. So all of our sheets, all of our pillowcases, um, one may float into here, uh, goes into that, um, goes into that ottoman and that works. Over here, I have some hand towels and I use the home edit open bin. Um, I think they have this a part of their laundry collection, but you can use it on whatever and that works. Um, the gray towels came from Target. I don't know if I said that or not in a set. So, um, and I think I got some great washcloths, which is only a couple of them back there in the back. You probably can't really see. I think the rest are in the wash or in the laundry basket. And those came from Kohl's. So usually when I have like a $5 reward from Kohl's, I like to go get their washcloths. Um, I think they're the big ones as well. And because um, usually I can't find anything that I really need sometimes to use it by by the expiration date. So I'll get like two packs of washcloths. So that may work for you all. This bin here is just like intertwined um, at the top of the rack. And I have been doing this for a long time, ever since we were like at the other house. Actually, um, the other house, I can't remember how long I've been doing it, probably since forever, <laughs> y'all. Um, I think I had a new bin since then, but it's perfect for this. If you have a wood shelf, it's really perfect. Um, you can put like soaps in here. Before I had a coupon stockpile or whenever it dwindles all the way down, I will always use toothpaste. Um, this was the hub for toothpaste and soap. So that's something I always kept in my laundry room. I'm um, sorry, linen closet, not necessarily like um, I have lotions now, but not necessarily like shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that. But, um, that's usually because I had a stockpile. These bins, you, I'm sure you can get them off Amazon or something, but usually Walmart have them. And so I left an open space. So like if we have guests or something, they can just come in here. And if I, you know, want to put shampoo or some trial sizes or something in there, they can just come in here and grab it or room to grow. So this cubicle thing, I was going to throw it away, and I believe this came from Big Lots, and it never went together correctly. <laughs> I think I had some planner stuff on it at one time, and then I moved it in here. And um, so the holes and stuff don't really bother me, um, but it's supposed to have a bookshelf on top. And so I just pushed it in here it's been in here and it's always worked so I use the home edit bins here and I put some soap back in here my family does really well now <laughs> with not just grabbing cleaning stuff and items off from the stockpile shelves so usually it's something already open cleaning supplies under the sink or downstairs um, I tell them to go check or ask first. Usually they go check before they open up something. So I try to leave the soap open. Um, I did have a basket behind me, but this is going to work. And I told them, hey, y'all remember, except Desire, I used to have the soap in the linen closet. Well, hey, it's back in the linen closet now. 
and then I had a whole lot of I'm organizing my closet and my dressers in in the bathroom I had just started on that so I had a lot of open different lotions I also had some sunscreen uh, y'all I had the sunscreen inside of a beach bag that was in my closet so I pulled that out put it in here and that works this bin over here also came from Target it's threshold and I thought it would be perfect to put in this space to use washcloths um, over here to the left is hand towels and washcloths to the right so again slowly I have been throwing away our old towels for some reason when you have kids and pets you can't have enough towels um, when someone makes a mess you you say quick run go get a towel <laughs> I know sometimes in my house and you just it's just so hard to get rid of towels um, so I do have a few here. I have a pile I just washed downstairs and I have thrown some away out. We had a lot of towels. So slowly I'm going to throw some away. I threw some away yesterday. Um, so then we'll have, um, uh, newer towels, newer towels. I have purchased towels over the years, but the white and the gray towels. Okay, so I got the bins. I got new bins, and these came from Target as well. And then I got these labels. I haven't put the label. The label. Um, got these from. Where did I get these from? Amazon. I haven't put the label on them yet, but this system here has worked for us. It may not work for everyone, but we keep our light bulbs in here and our um, plugins. So I do have more downstairs I need to bring up here, but it's a good way to know where everything is and it works for us. Over here, um, I have batteries and the smoke detector um, adapter and this is an extra one that Jason had to take down. Also, the batteries for the smoke detector are in there sometimes I know I can't well I can get up there if I have a long enough ladder but it's best to, for us to have them upstairs because all of a sudden it'll start beeping and it's in the middle of the night or it's getting late and you don't want to go to the garage so that just what what works for us also what works for us is keeping our air filters here just is just a central place it's been there it just works for us our air filter one of them is right here the other one we have to take downstairs but that's fine it also lets us know hey we only have one of each left and we need to get more okay so down here um, I have a heating pad and a blood pressure cuff in here and I think that's it yeah that's it and I just wanted a central location where I can tell the boys to grab it if I'm downstairs and also, Jason will know where it is, my husband. So a lot of times, I um, have stuff in certain places, and they always have to ask me, where is it? So if they don't have to go looking through another bin and another bin, I'm like, hey, maybe it's in here if I'm not around. Okay, I put our beach towels in here, but these may get tossed out. And I only did this because my kids or my family will use beach towels as a regular towel sometimes. And um, these are really worn. Uh, we need some more. We go to the beach and stuff. But really this bin is supposed to be for our iron and for our steamer. And I just took the steamer out this morning because I needed to steam um, Josiah's shorts. So that works for us upstairs instead of downstairs because usually our clothes are upstairs. Um, getting ready for the day and then over here is just some toilet seat covers that I ordered off of Amazon when my son went off to college and he rarely I don't know if he used them or not y'all I don't know they might have sprayed off the toilet every time I don't know TMI but um, I'm you know I don't remember how much they are but I didn't want to throw them away they haven't even been open I think it was a pack of four or five and then so my middle son if he decides to go off to school or not, um, there to go. <laughs> and then if we travel, we can wrap them up. Um, so that's the only place I knew where to put them. Okay, guys. So on the door, I got this organizer from Lowe's. 
um, home improvement and I actually wanted something to hold our cleaners so it doesn't clean it doesn't have as many cleaners on it as I would like but it still works it still work and it is functional so let's go over each shelf I think years ago I tried the shoe organizer the clear one and that worked really well too and then I didn't have anything on the door but I needed something to hold our cleaners so at the top I put some toilet paper it was just some extra toilet paper sitting around and all of our bathrooms we have something to hold extra toilet paper like a bin or a basket or either the toilet paper holder itself y'all know it has the extra ones so um sometimes the pack still has extra toilet paper um even though Josiah can't reach this um that's why I put a couple down here that he can reach okay so um over here I just have a sewing kit and a little first aid kit yeah a little first aid kit just so um my husband will know where it is if he needs it. Um, some fantastic glass cleaner. Um, I didn't want to toss this, but the Myers Cleaner Surface Scrub. I don't know if I ordered this or my mama gave it to me. I'm trying to figure out where I got it from. Some Swifter Dusters Toilet Bowl Cleaner and Dawn Dish Detergent. On this shelf, I have some fabric spray. Um, Jason uses it often and some Lysol wipes. I had it in my craft room. Thought I would bring it to a central location for everyone to use. And then in here, I have another bin, which I got this one, I think, from Target. And my wallflowers. So, eventually, I may um, put this in a clear bin by the Home Edit. Or just a clear bin. It could be, what's the other company? iDesign or M Design. I think that's the name of it. But I may put this in a clear container so I can see it um, from a distance. But I used what I already had. And then also I had this bin as well. Came from Aldi. So I almost forgot where I got this from. And then I love how the home edit puts a bin inside of a bin to keep stuff organized and corral together. So I put my essential oils in here. My favorite place to get essential oils affordably is Aldi. I use this quite often. Well, I have another one that's in my craft room. But this is my extra, my first one, that my backup. And so I have everything in here ready to grab if someone wants to use it. I used to keep, I keep the sleep one in my drawer in cedar wood. And then I was keeping this in my craft room. But it's best to keep it in here to keep the clutter down. Alright, so over here we have more bins. And I have a cuff blood pressure cuff and a pulse ox meter so I had this in the drawer downstairs thought I would bring it up here to more unified space um, my pocket back pocket vax vax and I had them up here on my coupon shelf and I thought it would be best to put them here I can see how many I have so if they have a sale I can grab more and then I just have some more cleaning stuff that I can quickly grab. Okay y'all, so this is nicely organized and I like how it came out. I really can see that this is gonna work for us. And if it doesn't, I can just switch it up or over time if it changes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye bye.